I'm going to rock my husband's brand and black owned luxury brand all day every day. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trinell. I'm really excited to share with you guys my favorites that I've been loving for the month of August. I honestly can't believe that we're almost at the end of summer, but we are. Let me show you what I've been loving for the last full month of summer. Starting first with home decor. First, I've been loving this beautiful piece of furniture right beside me. It's something like a ladder to display things. I'm using it right here to display my watches, my perfume, my husband's cologne and then some Bath and Body Works products. I really had like this awkward space between my dresser and my door that I wanted to fill with something and I also didn't have a nice place to put my perfume. When I measured this space and I looked on Amazon for some type of ladder, some type of shelf to hold in the spot, I found this and it was at affordable price. I believe it was like around $50. Perfectly priced. It was super easy to install and it fit exactly in the base as I measured it. Perfect fit, highly recommended from Amazon. The second home decor item that I've been loving in the month of August is this Marie Kondo shoe rack. I've been watching quite a few small apartment storage hack videos. I found on one of the videos this beautiful shoe rack and I was instantly in love. Not only with its beautiful design but also because of the height. My biggest issue with shoe racks is that they're never high enough to hold my heels or tall boots. This is the first and only shoe rack that I found that is high enough to hold every type of heels that I personally own and this shoe rack is stackable so it can get as high as you want. It is very much breathable as you can see it has lines and it's cute if you want to just leave it out as opposed to having to tuck it away in your closet. I bought it at the container store for around $50. It does come in a shorter size so if you don't have the length of space to hold that big of a shoe rack it does come in like the half width size. Another home decor item or set of items that I've been loving in the month of August has been my entire desk setup. During Amazon Prime Day I bought a whole bunch of office desk supplies. I invested in a acrylic riser to hold my monitor. I also bought myself a nice cute white keyboard. I bought myself a mouse. I bought myself a laptop iPad stand to go on my desk as well. I have all of of those things on my desk and they have increased my productivity tremendously. I also have a desk pad to protect the desk between the keyboard and the mouse. Definitely love all of those desk items. Next I want to share with you some travel products that I've been loving in the month of August. The first being this travel bag. So this bag is from Bag Smart. It's kind of <laughs> dirty here because I've used it on my trip to Jamaica earlier this month but it is the best toiletry bag ever. It has three different components. This wet area where you can store wet products that could be your soap in a soap dish like I have here. The middle has this area that allows you to hold things upright so they're like nets to keep the products upright on both sides. You can hold full size bottles as well as some smaller bottles. I do have something in here already so you can see that's a travel size bottle but it does hold color things. And then the last side looks like this. So it does hold products that could be laid flat. For example, your toothbrush, toothpaste, razors, anything that can lay flat. This compartment is also an area to put some other things, maybe extra toiletries, extra soap. This was such a steal. It made packing my toiletries super easy in Jamaica and the whole bag is waterproof so I had no types of scares or worries about things spilling and ruining my other clothes. Like I highly, I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend this toiletry bag. The next travel product that I've been loving in the month of August is this travel makeup bag. Now, you might be wondering why do you have a toiletry bag and a makeup bag? Let me tell you. The makeup bag is obviously for just makeup. If you are a girl that wears a lot of makeup or just has a lot of different products, you need a whole separate bag for makeup. Don't act like I'm the only one, sis. But yes, I have this makeup bag and the toiletry bag. With this bag, it has, again, three compartments. One of the compartments is the waterproof 
side so you can put any type of product that you don't want to mess up the rest of your bag in these two compartments. This shorter side could hold things like mascara, eyeliner, any short product. There's also little holders here that can hold maybe beauty blenders or smaller makeup products like maybe a highlighter or an individual eyeshadow or blush. Then the inside component will hold products that are in bottle or have to be displayed upright so your foundations anything like that you can hold here but then this side is where you keep the actual makeup brushes and there is again this waterproof layer that prevents the makeup from smudging and getting on the rest of the bag and the rest of your products in this bag so I do highly recommend this makeup bag there's another component here a back zipper and a small little pocket that can hold maybe hair products a comb a brush edge control edge brush that you can also take with you with your makeup the next travel essential that i've been loving in august is this bag and you're probably like girl another one yes i love this bag this bag is actually for electronics it is also from bag smart like the toiletry black bag that i just showed you guys and this bag is super cool because it has two layers so the first layer has like these different elastic compartments that can hold cords and there are so many different components so it can hold quite a few cords i mean chargers laptop chargers any type of appliance chargers headphones it also has slots for sd cards which i've been looking for this sd card and look it's right here this is my trip it's been right here it has some zippers so you can store some other things in this little mesh compartment here but all also, it has a deeper compartment underneath the bag that can hold actual like camera gear. So I have my tripod here. I have a, my extra camera battery charger. I have my Canon G7X, which I'm recording on right now in here when I traveled. And this compartment is also a little pocket that you can hold some more stuff as well. So if you are a content creator, if you have a camera at all, in addition to some other devices, this is a really handy bag to carry because it keeps everything in one place and organized especially when you travel a lot keeping track of all of your products all of your things is such a big plus it makes your life so much more easy because you know exactly where to find everything because they're all in one spot so definitely recommend all three of those bags they all serve different purposes so if you're in the market and wanted something for toiletries makeup and your tech stuff highly recommend those three bags last but not least in terms of my travel favorites this month, I have this product here. These are packing cubes. Doesn't look like much right here as I have it in my hand. However, this little bag has three packing cubes inside of it. This is like the medium sized bag and it tells you on the bottom here what they recommend you put in them in terms of sizing. So this just is a regular shirt short. This one here is the largest one that could hold like jackets, vest, and long pants. This one is also a medium size that can hold shirts and shorts and stuff like that and then this last one can hold underwear bathing suit socks my mind was completely blown when I bought these packing cubes and actually packed my clothes for Jamaica the amount of stuff that fit in one cube like one was like astounding moving right along to skincare I have three skincare products that I've been loving this month the first is this Coco Kind daily SPF sunscreen lotion it's a facial skin screen lotion if you're not using sunscreen girl you need to start using it it will also change your life it's a habit that not much people actually incorporate in their skincare routine this particular brand I found in Target I had never heard of it before but I've been really into scanning products using the Yuka app if you don't know about the Yuka app let me just tell you guys Yuka app has also changed my life I'm not sponsored of course but I really been loving this app this app basically allows you to scan food products as well as skincare makeup anything that you use in the body from your local stores you're able to just scan using your phone's camera the barcode of products and they will give you a rating out of a hundred and determine based on the rating if your product is bad or good or excellent based on that rating it'll break down why they gave that particular score the app assesses the risk of the ingredients in that product. The other thing I've been loving is also from Coco Kind. This is the Sea Kale Clay Mask right here. 
It says it is a restorative mask for smooth, clear skin. I've heard great things about clay mask in general. Scan this product in store with the Yuka app and it had high ratings as well. So it was made out of clean ingredients. When you leave this on, you put it on your face and leave it on for about 20 minutes. Once you wash your face, your face actually feels clean. The last skincare product that I've been loving this month is the Summer Fridays brand Cloud Dew Oil Free Gel Cream. I was on the market for a new facial lotion my old one that I got from a spa locally in New York had run out and I just needed something that had clean ingredients approved by the Yuka app that I can buy at a local store I went to Sephora was actually testing out another skincare product I think it was the belief aqua cream I just saw it was a hit on social media my friend had recommended that but it does not have good ingredients wasn't highly rated on the Yuka app so I did not purchase that instead I looked at the recommendations. Oh, that's another thing. The Yuka app will give you recommendations for other products that are similar to what you look for but have a higher score, i.e. is safer, has safer ingredients. I found this one and I love it. It is a water-based lotion. It feels very light on your skin. If you are someone who is wearing lash extensions, one of the things you gotta avoid is products that have a lot of oil or oil at all and this is oil-free. So it's perfect for that or if you are an oil person as well you want to avoid products that have oil on it and this one is oil free so perfect for that now on to my fashion and accessory favorites for the month of August the first being this bathing suit so this is a one-piece bathing suit it is a high-cut monokini you can tie it at the sides in order to get it to be sexier I absolutely love this one piece it's like the best one piece I ever owned this is in a size medium I'll insert a picture of me having it on I got a lot of compliments over this bathing suit. It's super comfortable. It is fully adjustable. You can adjust the back straps as well as again the hip part to show as much or as little skin or butt as you would like. I bought it from Amazon so it'll come in two days if you are on a last minute crunch before a trip. Highly recommend. The second bathing suit that I have, I'll have to just insert a picture of it here because a lot to show you. It is a three piece bikini with a high cut and high waist bottom as well as a long sleeve mesh top. I wore it to Dunn's River Falls in Jamaica on my last trip and it was also a intention grabber. I mean it could have been me in the bathing suit but nonetheless it comes in a lot of different colors. I also bought it from Amazon. That's all the clothing pieces that I have but I do have a few fashion pieces to show you guys that I bought in August. The first being this black Telfar bag. Let me just say this bag is the truth. I have quite a few Telfar bags in my collection. This is my third, third. I think it's my third bag. I have the white, the tan, and the first bag I ever bought was the Ugg Black. Some people hate them. But for me, Telfars are cool because they are a very convenient bag. They can go cross body very easily. And like, this is it. This is the whole look. Don't have to be worried about holding nothing. My hands are completely free. Or you can hold it as like a top handle or just on one shoulder. It's whatever you want. I loved that Telfar bag so much that I bought it in the bigger size, the size medium. This is my first medium Telfar bag that I own. All the rest of my bags are small, which is what you saw. And just as a size comparison, this is a small on their website and this is a medium. I don't own any larges. Big, big difference. I use this bag as my personal bag when traveling and it was the perfect personal bag. Here it is, it's very sturdy. The material on this is a lot more thicker than the smaller bag because I guess larger, it held its shape, it held on my products, it was not heavy on my shoulder. For the most part, it was on my carry-on bag and it fit on top of that perfectly. I'll insert a picture of how that looked in the airport. I highly, highly recommend this or the large size one for traveling. The next accessories that's been my favorite this August has been my Lorve sunglasses. I just picked this up the other day and I wore it today for the first time and I absolutely love it. I got the main event pair right here and I got latte right here. Well, the main event is the all black like classic looking one. You see their logo right here, Lorve. Lorve, by the way, is Sierra Taylor, the 
YouTuber's own sunglass brand. So yeah, this is main event, and this is Latte, which is like a tan, swirl-looking, round or oval-shaped sunglass with red lenses super cute i've never had anything like this ever in my life so i wanted to buy it especially now that we're going through winter i thought it'll be a fun like shade to wear in the winter with my christmas red I hope you get the vision here is laura vey's main event on my face right now and i don't know it's a look like i said i wore it today to go to brunch and you can tell me nothing the sun was shining i don't know if these are currently in stock but i'll leave the link down below for whenever they do go ahead and cop them also follow them on Instagram to know when they drop in case they are sold out and then this is the latte pair these are also super cute I have not worn them out the lenses are red so things will be pink but I think that's still cute which do you guys prefer on me latte or main event comment down below the next accessory that I've been loving in August has been my new watch this is my teleport rose gold women's watch if you guys don't know already teleport is my husband's watch brand and these watches are just absolutely gorgeous this is the new rose gold women's watch and I love it like rose gold is super in these days it is just super beautiful it has like this tan inside the dials on the watch face and all rose gold all around my next favorite items are going to be books the first being this book right here the great sex rescue It's actually written by a Christian author this book is all about the myths about sex that are typically taught in church how to counteract those myths how to have better sex life a more fulfilling sex life or better marriage if you are at all married you're always interested in other ways to spice up your love life get more creative have more fun all of that stuff so it doesn't hurt to continue to teach yourself and continue to learn the other book that i've been loving this month is sweet runnings jamaican recipes i actually got this in the airport Kingston Airport leaving Jamaica on the way back from my trip this month. It is such a beautiful cookbook has very cute pictures large fonts something that you can just lay and see from afar when cooking my husband is Jamaican and I'm Antiguan but I definitely love Jamaican food any opportunity for me to try different recipes and to just improve my Caribbean cooking I jump on it I am a lover of trying new recipes and this book was just just super comprehensive it says it has over 164 popular recipes I've only tried maybe two so far I mean I just got the book but I've tried two so far and both came out amazing. Highly recommend if you are interested in Jamaican cooking or improving your Caribbean cooking or just want to get a little taste of Jamaican culture, grab this book. So that's all that I have for my favorites in the month of August. I hope they all make sense. If you have any questions about any of the items, please comment them down below and the links for everything will be in the description box as long as I'm able to find them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos by me and I will see you in my next video.